President Joe Biden emphasized the significance of raising the U.S. borrowing limit in order to avert an economic collapse during his first Oval Office address to the nation on Friday. Following its swift passage through Congress with bipartisan support, he signed the bill into law on Saturday. In a rare display of praise for his Republican counterparts, the Democratic president acknowledged their good faith efforts. Stressing the catastrophic consequences of a U.S. default on its $31.4 trillion, approximately £25 trillion debt by the looming Monday deadline, Biden underscored the gravity of the situation by delivering his remarks from the Oval Office, a platform typically reserved for addressing major crises like war or natural disasters. Welcome to Slant News. If you want to support, you can subscribe to our channel. Thank you. The White House emphasized that Biden's decision to utilize the Oval Office underscored the gravity of the situation had the debt ceiling not been raised just in time. Prior to the bill's passage, the White House and Republicans engaged in weeks of debates, raising doubts about whether an agreement could be reached before the U.S. government faced a financial shortfall on June 5. The bill secured a 63 positive and 36 negative vote in the Senate on Thursday night, following its smooth passage through the House of Representatives a day earlier. President Biden commended the congressional leaders involved in the process, including Republican Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy and Republican Senate Leader Mitch McConnell. He lauded their responsible actions and their prioritization of the country's well-being over politics. Notably, Biden is running for re-election in 2024. The agreed-upon deal suspends the debt limit until January 1, 2025, and includes provisions such as capping non-defense spending and expanding work requirements for food and healthcare assistance. Additionally, it provides increased funding for the medical care of military veterans, aligning with President Biden's initial objectives. According to the Congressional Budget Office, the legislation is expected to yield $1.5 trillion in savings over the next decade. While the bill enjoyed broad bipartisan support, some Republicans argued that it did not go far enough in terms of spending cuts, while certain Democrats contended that it went too far. Despite these differing opinions, the bill successfully passed, raising the U.S. borrowing limit and averting a potentially catastrophic default.